The atmosphere could be mistaken for that of a test match. There are thousands of spectators in the ground. And the game is being broadcast live across the nation. But amazingly, the reason for all this is a team of teenagers, Nepal's under-17 cricket side. The sport they play is, it seems, very quickly taking hold of their country. Uh, when a child is able to stand in his legs, he will carry the bat and he'll play in a street. That is the craze of cricket in Nepal. Neighboring countries like India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, they are good in cricket. So that we people are also looking cricket, watching cricket, and observing cricket from here in Nepal. So that we want cricket to be developed in Nepal. Day by day, it is becoming more popular. Uh, if you have lots of domestic games, and if we can do a lot good in batting, then one day we'll definitely play in World Cup. We believe that. <laughs> The northern extremes of Nepal should look familiar and formidable to most people, defined as they are by the Himalayas and a mountain called Everest. But to the south, west and east, there is the rather more porous terrain of an open border with cricket powerhouse India. So it's perhaps not surprising that the sport has landed in Nepal. In this match between Nepal and UAE in the ACC, under-17 Elite Cup, Nepal has made 97 runs for the loss of 7 wickets in 25 overs. Nepal were the host for Asia's Under-17 Championship. Not only that, after title wins at Under-15 and Under-19 level, they were expected to win it and claim a clean sweep of youth tournaments on the continent. Cricket was first brought to Nepal back in the 1920s by members of its royal family who studied in India and England, and for years it remained a game for the elite. That was until the arrival of cable TV, which brought with it pictures of the 1996 World Cup. That was also the year that Nepal played their first international match. Suddenly, cricket was no longer a game for royal palaces, it was a game for the people. All the boom of uh, the cable television in Nepal, that's how a lot of people do interested because of all these events happening in the same year. Nepal going to play the, an international tournament and then Nepal getting ICC membership and then all these matches coming live to uh, Nepal. So that's all played a very important role in development of cricket. They are talking about how Sachin Tendulkar is doing, how Dhoni is doing, or how West Indies is batting and all these things in the, every morning. So cricket is there. Because of the television, it has become a game of every household. And unlike many other non-test playing countries in Asia, Nepal's teams aren't reliant on expatriate players from India, Sri Lanka or Pakistan. This country is determined to establish its own distinct cricketing culture. If we put up a team just to win a game, I think we could probably defeat Bangladesh tomorrow because we can bring in a lot of uh, test discards from India. And as for the qualification rule, you know, as we don't need any passport to come to Nepal or go to India, they could easily qualify to play for Nepal. But then we, we thought that if we do that, then the local cricket will not grow. We made it a policy not to have any foreigners playing for Nepal. Actually, the Nepalese are natural-born cricketers. So if we if you give them a high quality of coaching, I think that really the Nepalese cricket will go high in this international level. Or if our board, if they help the players to go overseas, like uh, we are near to India and Pakistan and, or Sri Lanka, if they go there and practice and they play in any their domestic levels, I think our players also can improve. And young stars are already being created. Nepal's under-17 captain, Prithu Baskota, is a back-page regular even now and has just landed a sponsorship deal with a major sports brand. Whenever I see the game in the TV, I, I, I always think that 
wish that I could be there. So it's a great game and I love to play it. In 1996, tour, when West Indies toured Australia, and I was um, watching Ricky Ponting bat batting, so I really um, got inspired by his batting, so I got in the game. And tell us what are your ambitions for cricket? How far do you want to go with cricket? Well, representing Nepal at the highest level and um, really performing well in every match I get, every match I play. And um, our most target would be uh, to play in the 2015 World Cup. The enthusiasm for cricket is obvious just about everywhere you go in Kathmandu, but so too are the rather meagre practice facilities on offer. But this is a country still suffering from almost daily prolonged power cuts, so not surprisingly, government's investment in sports is of a low priority. The helping hand for Nepal has to come from the wider cricketing world. And in Nepal's case, that means impressing the men in suits from the Asian Cricket Council, who will offer continued support, but only if they're happy with Nepal's own development plan. So the people over here know about cricket. They, they have the cricket, cricket culture. It's not like uh, teaching the, the Chinese how to hold a bat, because these people already know it. So it's, it's much easier over here. But, but one has to have a, a good strategic plan for five years or ten years, which the Nepal Cricket Association should have. And we are, we are there to help them. I believe that there are lots of places in Nepal where they can have a ground as well as this. But I don't think there is the inclination to go beyond, beyond Kathmandu. Hey man, what's up? It's a message that does seem to be hitting home. Now I think a stage has come where we're going to build infrastructure and have uh, coaching uh, facilities, at least in six regions, which are headquarters. Uh, so within two or three years, this will be set into place. Once that happens, then you know the real development of cricket will start place. Former Sri Lankan test player Roy Dace has coached the country's junior and senior teams for eight years now. As a player who took part in Sri Lanka's first ever test match, he knows exactly what's required for Nepal to take the next step. The batting was so bad, and also the fielding. There's a lot to improve, please. They want to do well. Good luck and well done today. I just tell them to do the basics correct because uh, it's a learning procedure. I'm only a teacher and they have to go and perform there. Uh, my theory is the, if you learn the basics at the start, you won't go wrong because for me, it's technique is very important. And uh, these guys, if you watch them, they have the basics. As the game's popularity increases here, so too do expectations. Success at junior level hasn't as yet been matched by the senior team, but it's hoped that will change fast, and qualification for the 2015 World Cup is the next ambitious target. When I meet people in parties, they tell me that, OK, you did very well in this event, which I didn't hear about five or six years back. So that is very encouraging and interesting. And I think uh, cricket does have a future, because if the whole subcontinent is playing cricket, Nepal cannot be isolated. I see that uh, in maybe in uh, like uh, 10 years, Nepal could become a test player, test nation. Nepal may yet struggle to make it to test level or to a World Cup quite so early in their cricketing life. But this is no passing teenage phase. A committed generation of players and supporters has arrived. Cricket in Nepal is here to stay. Andy Richardson, Al Jazeera, Kathmandu.